Hello and welcome. Today we have another easy answer video for the 100 civics questions of the U.S. Citizenship Test. We've ordered the questions by topic this time to help you make sense of all the information we're gonna throw at you today. We also chose answers that we felt were easy to learn. However, please remember that you are free to choose your own answers. Okay, a little bit about the rules. Again, these are the 100 official civics questions, the 2008 version from USCIS. You will be asked 10 randomly chosen questions. You must get six of those 10 correct in order to pass. Please know that this is an oral test, so it's not multiple choice. Be careful if you study that way. And remember, you only need to provide one answer unless the question specifically asks for more than one. All right? Okay, my friends, let's get started with the U.S. flag. Okay, questions about the U.S. flag. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Why does the flag have 50 stars? Because there are 50 states. What do we show loyalty to when we say the Pledge of Allegiance? The United States. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. The Star Spangled Banner. <laughs> That's a mouthful. Now, moving on to the colonial period and independence. What is one reason colonists came to America? For freedom, freedom. Who lived in America before the Europeans arrived? American Indians. Name one American Indian tribe in the United States. Crow, like the bird, crow. There were 13 original states. Name three. New Hampshire, New York, New Jersey. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because of high taxes. What did the Declaration of Independence do? It said that the United States is free. Free from Great Britain. It said the United States is free. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4th, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? That was Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson. What are two rights in the Declaration of Independence? Life and liberty. Who was the first president? George Washington. Who is the father of our country? George Washington. Same answer. Washington. George Washington. 
Okay, very good. Now we're going to move on to the Constitution. Remember, the Declaration of Independence was about getting free from Great Britain. And now we need to set up our government with the Constitution, right? What is the supreme law of the land? The Constitution. And what does the Constitution do? It sets up the government. Sets up the government. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Constitution was written. The Constitution was written. Mm -hmm. When was the Constitution written? In 1787. 1787. The idea of self-government is in the first three words of the Constitution. What are these words? We the people. We the people. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. John Jay. John Jay. Or just J. What is one thing Benjamin Franklin is famous for? Let's see, Benjamin Franklin, he was a U.S. diplomat. He was a U.S. diplomat. What is an amendment? What is an amendment? That is a change to the Constitution. You can just say a change. What do we call the first 10 amendments to the Constitution? The first 10 amendments are called the Bill of Rights. The Bill of Rights. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Speech. Speech. What is freedom of religion? What is freedom of religion? You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. How many amendments does the Constitution have? How many amendments does the Constitution have? 27. 27. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the federal government. What is one power of the federal government? To print money to print money. Under our Constitution, some powers belong to the states. What is one power of the states? To provide schooling and education. Provide schooling and education. Okay, moving on. There are three branches of government. So first, we will talk about the executive branch, okay? The executive branch or the president. The... First, we will talk about the executive branch, the executive branch. 
What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? What stops one branch of government from becoming too powerful? Checks and balances. Checks and balances. What is the rule of law? The rule of law. Everyone must follow the law. That means everyone must follow the law. Who is in charge of the executive branch? That is the president. The president is in charge of the executive branch. Who signs bills to become laws? Also the president, the president. Who vetoes bills? Who vetoes bills? The president, the president. Who is commander in chief of the military? The commander in chief of the military is the president. The president, again. We elect a president for how many years? Four, four years. In what month do we vote for president? November. What is the name of the president of the United States now? That is Joe Biden, or just Biden. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. Advises the president. What are two cabinet level positions? Secretary of Defense, Secretary of Education. What are the two major political parties in the United States? The Democratic and Republican. So the Democratic Party and the Republican Party. Democratic and Republican. And what is the political party of the president now? What is the political party of the president now? It is Democratic. Joe Biden is part of the Democratic Party. If the president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The vice president. And what is the name of the vice president of the United States now? Kamala Harris, or just Harris. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House. Very good. The next branch of government we're going to discuss is the legislative branch, which is also called Congress. Congress. Name one branch or part of the government. Congress. Congress. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Congress. What are the two parts of the U.S. Congress? Two parts of the U.S. Congress are the Senate and House. The Senate and House. How many U.S. Senators are there? 
One hundred. One hundred. We elect a U.S. Senator for how many years? Six. Six years for a Senator. Who does a U.S. Senator represent? All people of the state. All people of the state. And who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Who is one of your state's U.S. Senators now? Okay, of course, answers here will vary depending where you live. To find your senators, you'll need to go to senate.gov and then choose your state and it will show your senators. And you can just choose one of the names that you'll remember easiest. If you have any trouble with that, ask below and we'll help you out. The House of Representatives, remember the two parts, the Senate and the House, the House of Representatives. So now let's talk about the House of Representatives. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? Okay, 435. 435 in the House. We elect a U.S. Representative for how many years? Two, two years for a House representative. Name your U.S. representative. Name your U.S. representative. And of course, again, this depends where you live. Answers will vary. You'll need to go to house.gov and type in your zip code. And then you might have to type in your street address as well to find your specific representative. Okay, so this, the house representative is based on your specific address. Why do some states have more representatives than other states? Because of the state's population. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? All right, very good. Now let's talk about the final branch of government, the judicial branch. So we did the executive and the, then the legislative or Congress, and now we're gonna talk about that judicial branch. What does the judicial branch do? Reviews laws. Reviews laws. What is the highest court in the United States? What is the highest court in the United States? That is the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Nine. Nine justices. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? That is John Roberts. John Roberts. Who is the Governor of your state now? Okay, here's another answers will vary, of course, depending on your state. You can go to usa.gov slash state dash governor. Choose your state to find the name of your governor, okay? Or ask us below. Okay, moving right along, we're gonna talk about some rights and responsibilities. What is one responsibility that is only for United States citizens? Only for United States citizens? Vote in a federal election. Vote in a federal election. Name one right only for United States citizens. Very similar question. And guess what? It has the same answer. Vote in a federal election. See that? 
votes in a federal election only for United States citizens. What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? Now here, keyword everyone, right? What are two rights of everyone living in the United States? So everyone has freedom of speech and freedom of religion. What is one promise you make when you become a United States citizen? To obey the laws of the United States. Obey the laws of the United States. How old do citizens have to be to vote for president? 18 and older, 18 and older. When must all men register for the selective service? At age 18, at age 18. There are four amendments to the Constitution about who can vote. Describe one of them. Who can vote? Citizens 18 and older can vote. Citizens 18 and older can vote. What are two ways Americans can participate in their democracy? What are two ways that Americans can participate in their democracy? They could vote, join a political party, join a political party. When is the last day you can send in federal income tax forms? April 15th, April 15th. What did Susan B. Anthony do? What did Susan B. Anthony do? She fought for civil rights, fought for civil rights. What did Martin Luther King Jr. do? He fought for civil rights. Okay, same answer. So you can use that same answer for both people. Susan B. Anthony fought for civil rights. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for civil rights. What movement tried to end racial discrimination? Civil rights movement, civil rights. What is the economic system in the United States? The economic system in the United States. Capitalist economy, it's a capitalist economy. Okay, moving on to questions about U.S. wars, U.S. wars. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. The Civil War, Civil War. What group of people was taken to America and sold as slaves? Africans. Name the U.S. war between the North and the South. The Civil War. The Civil War. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Slavery, slavery. What was one important thing that Abraham Lincoln did? Abraham Lincoln, he freed the slaves, freed the slaves. What did the Emancipation Proclamation do? Same answer here. 
freed the slaves. Abraham Lincoln freed the slaves. The Emancipation Proclamation freed the slaves. Now, moving on to the 1900s, okay? Name one war fought by the United States in the 1900s, the 1900s. We have the World Wars. I chose World War II, World War II. Who was president during the Great Depression and World War II? It was Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Japan, Germany, and Italy. You'll need to name all three countries. Japan, Germany, and Italy. Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? Before he was president, Eisenhower was a general. What war was he in? That was World War II. World War II. Now let's go back in time a little bit for this one question. Who was president during World War I? Who was president during World War I? That was Woodrow Wilson. So president during World War I, Woodrow Wilson, or just Wilson. It's all those W sounds, right? World War I was Woodrow Wilson. World War II was Roosevelt. Okay, okay, some people mix those up, so careful there. During the Cold War, what was the main concern of the United States? The Cold War, main concern was communism, communism. What major event happened on September 11th? <laughs> what major, again, what major event happened on September 11th, 2001? in the United States. Terrorists attacked the United States. Okay, let's move on to US geography. Talk about what is the capital of the United States? What is the capital of the United States? That is Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. What is the capital of your state? The capital of your specific state where you live, right? Of course, answers will vary depending where you live. Please find out the capital of your state. And if you don't know, ask below. What ocean is on the east coast of the United States? The ocean on the east coast, the Atlantic, the Atlantic Ocean. And what ocean is on the west coast of the United States? On the west coast is the Pacific Ocean, Pacific Ocean. Name one state that borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Mexico. California. California borders Mexico. Name one state that borders Canada. Name one state that borders Canada. We have New York. New York borders Canada. Where is the Statue of Liberty? In New York, New York. Name one of the two longest rivers in the United States. The Missouri River, Missouri River. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803?
Louisiana. Louisiana. Name one U.S. territory. Name one U.S. territory. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico. Okay. A couple U.S. holidays here. Questions? Name two national U.S. holidays. Name two national U.S. holidays. New Year's Day and President's Day. New Year's Day and President's Day. When do we celebrate Independence Day? When do we celebrate Independence Day? July 4th, July 4th. And there you have it, all 100 civics questions. Please, please remember that the civics test is only one part of the naturalization interview. It is also very important to review your N-400 application and organize all your documents, okay? Please leave questions and comments below and we will do what we can to help you find the answers you need. Thank you for joining me today. If you like this video, thumbs up, please subscribe, all that jazz. We appreciate your support. Thanks again and have a wonderful day.